Hi my lovelies. Um, I was just filming. I just did another Sigma Patchy on a Go palette. I did the haze one, not haze one, electric pink, but you I think have already seen this video. Um, I had to take one eye off because I did two different eyes, so I had to match them. <laughs> right, I wanted to tell you about my makeup fail disaster. So yesterday I was so excited, I sat down and I filmed full face of e.l.f. makeup. So I really wanted to try the Cameo CC Cream. It looks like the IT Cosmetics. I have them also in two colours. I thought I'm sure it's amazing and much cheaper than IT Cosmetics and I used to love the IT Cosmetics uh, CC Cream. I got the light 240 and medium 370 so quite a big difference but I mixed them. This was horrible. This is so thick. Let me squeeze a bit. This feels so thick. Obviously this is like a skincare and foundation in one, really thick, but not full coverage. Therefore, I had to build it up. I tried it with a sponge, I tried it with a brush. It didn't really work with either. Maybe it would be better to apply it with your hand. Anyway, I, I get to all the products in a minute. As soon as I put it on, I was in a bad mood. <laughs> To me, the worst thing is if the foundation doesn't apply well, because I know it's gonna look patchy. It's not gonna give me that lovely even canvas. So I was already in a bad mood. And basically, I hardly liked anything from everything that I've got. I already had some bits and I bought some bits for this video. Total waste of money. Well, I go through what I've got and I tell you everything about it. Anyway, I kept doing this video. I wasn't happy with this. I wasn't happy with that. And when I watched back, it was like 40 minutes of me being really miserable and moaning. And I thought, I can't put that up. And the makeup looked awful. So, <laughs> apart from one eye look. So I've decided not to put it up. I might insert... I will see, I might not, so don't count on it. Insert little bits of that video, maybe just the bits when I'm really disappointed. It was just an awful video. If I was a subscriber and I was watching this, I would say, oh my God, this woman is the whingiest person in the world. And how can you not like so many things? But you know, if I don't like something, I don't like something. I'm not going to sit here and say it's wonderful. But it wasn't even the fact that I didn't like so many products, uh, I will tell you now. It's just the whole feel of the video. I was pissed off <laughs> from the moment I applied this. And from then on, I was like, I don't like this, I don't like this. So, okay, really didn't like this. Very thick. It wasn't full coverage, so I had to top it up. Um, it wasn't giving me really much more coverage, just started looking cakey. It was very uneven, very patchy. So then I tried the concealers. And I've already had these concealers, and I don't remember anything about them. And I wonder if I bought them and didn't like them, but I didn't remember. Didn't like the concealer either. First of all, it's nice and creamy. I have the, this is the Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. So I have the Light Sand and Medium Sand Sable. And the colors are nice, I mix them together. But straight away, I mean, I obviously have fine lines under my eyes and most of my concealers that I have look really good. This one didn't look nice straight away. And then when I was blending it in under my eye with the sponge, it started really interfering with this. 
it was almost taking the foundation off so it was very patchy under my eyes so I didn't like that I knew that this not it's not going to look good so I did that then bronzer this so this is the prime infused bron primer infused bronzer in forever what forever sun kissed and it looked you know really nice shade nice neutral shade and quite dark couldn't get any color out of it can you see it comparing to what it looks like in the pan I can't see it and I kept building it up building it up it didn't work so I didn't like that then I had the blush and this is primer infused shimmer blush oh what's the color of it oh it's on a sticker here that is see-through with silver writing and who supposed to even see that I need to get my glasses I bet I won't even see it with my glasses no no sorry can't tell you what color it is but the blush was nice it, it was too dark the blush on the other hand unlike the bronzer is very pigmented it's got a bit of sheen to it it's just too dark i chose far too dark color and it's very very pigmented so with this one you have to be very careful not to apply too much so straight away three products i didn't like the blush is fine i said i i can use it it's, i just have to tap off the brush on my back of my hand first then i already had this little um palette you know those tiny palettes they are something like four pounds so what can you expect so this is cream and sugar and this is lovely everyday palette. Hang on, I've got this foundation all over me. Don't want to get it on my silk blouse. And I got oh oh this one has broken, I think. Got these two from the Mint Something collection. So this one is called Mint to Be. And of course, you know, I love all these minty colors. And this one is called Chocolate Mint. So this one just has one minty color and the rest are brown. So on one, I, I used this one. It wasn't too bad. Uh, the shimmers were really good. The mattes, this light matte, you couldn't really see this one was okay um and yeah i could make this look to look to be nice they are quite dry and the fallout was out of this world so i did one eye with this one and then i did the other eye with this one for some reason this one didn't have as much fallout and the pigmentation was quite nice so i do like this one again this is cream and sugar so this one was fine. I really like the look that I got with it. Then I used the mascara, Lush Beats. And I thought, well, they have so many mascaras, I didn't know which one to choose. Oh. What's wrong with this brush? It's one of those, you know, uh, tightly packed plastic brushes. I thought that would be my, like a first layer mascara not very good didn't do anything for my lashes and then lipsticks i had two lipsticks oh i don't have them here because i'm keeping them i like the lipsticks i think they do just one kind because it didn't say on a lipstick what kind they are it was in a square black tube and they were also magnetic and i got uh, like a um, pale mauve one and I might insert actually a bit from that video and one was sort of raspberry it was a bit similar to Charlotte Tilbury's Velvet Underground and a very nice sort of satin lipsticks or like a satin matte they were comfortable really nice lipsticks 
So basically, I just like the lipsticks. So nothing like this has ever happened to me. You know, I might have done a video where I didn't like some products, but this, honestly, I was so annoyed because I've spent such a long time filming it and I was really excited to film it because I thought I'm going to like most of it. And I didn't. So I've wasted my time. I was annoyed. <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat. I was annoyed. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes. So I thought I'd tell you about it. So you're not going to see this video. Oh, and then I said, oh, I will walk around with, with it for two, three hours. And after a couple of hours, come back and see, because I wasn't sure if the eyeshadows would just fade out as well. So I did that. I actually went upstairs, stood in front of the window, looked in the mirror, and my face looked awful. So I didn't even come back to, to update it. I just thought, I can't wait to take this makeup off. So... If you have any of these products and you really like them, please don't hate me. Especially with foundations, you know how personal that is. We all have different skin type. We all want different things from the foundations. The same with concealer. Concealer is like, I think, the most personal choice because what's going on under our eyes, everybody is dealing with different things. So please don't hate me. I can't help it that I didn't like it. It was just a disaster. And I thought I'd tell you about it. <laughs> right, look what just arrived. So, you know my fight with my hair. My hair is not staying as fluffy anymore because look at my roots already coming through so much. Honestly, my hair grows like it's on steroids. Um... You know I'm all about the body because my hair is very limp and I saw these two products well this one is not for body from the color wow I have the what is it called the famous product I think that's what started off the color wow that you spray it on your wet hair and you blow dry it and you're supposed to keep it smooth for like three washes I have that but i'm not into it that much because it gives my hair that very flat smooth finish and makes my hair look even thinner i prefer my hair to be a bit more fluffy so it's a fa fabulous product if that's what you're after but i'm not so this is the speed dry blow dry spray i i used to have a couple of different makes of those and these are really good they sort of have um, heat protectant in them and they're supposed to speed dry your hair drying and it's alcohol free well that's good because I always thought how does it do it you know does it coat your hair with a lot of alcohol therefore when the alcohol is evaporating it makes your hair dry faster but this is alcohol free I wonder what it smells like like it only arrived this morning Hmm. flowery not gorgeous gorgeous but nice smell and then you probably have seen those um, people using this this is the extra large bombshell volumizer it's like a foam but not foam like you would expect you know like a bouncy thick foam is very watery and you see people I've seen like shorts, you can do it on wet hair or you can do it on dry hair, it doesn't matter. They just squeeze that foam, put it in their hair and then blow dry it and the hair looks enormous. So of course I'm a sucker for things like this. <laughs> so I'm going to try it. Um, I will try it both ways and you might see it in my favourites video or you might not. Uh, but yeah, if, if it's impressive, I will tell you about it because people also say using this that it doesn't leave any residue, any sticky feeling, any stiff feeling. That's why I don't use 
hardly any. I will sometimes use something that gives you root lift, but I find with fine hair, hold on, my phone is ringing. You know those terrible phone calls? They try to sell you something or whatever. I suddenly started getting loads of them and you just see one is Manchester, one is from London. Every day is different one. What I usually do, well, I don't answer them at all now, but just to see, I answer it and don't say anything and it just goes off because again, this is all AI. It's a machine. It will only speak to you if you speak first. And that's what I mean, they're harvesting our data all the time. I mean, I haven't given them my phone number. So anyway, yes, yeah, so what was I saying? Oh, I don't use any styling products really because I find with fine hair, it actually weighs the hair down even more. It might look fine straight as after you've styled, styled it, but by the end of the day and the next day, it just makes you know, the more product you have in your hair, the more weighs the hair down, I think. It's fine when you've got thick hair, but with fine hair, I rather use, you've seen my hair when I, um, you've, see, you've seen the video when I style my hair. I don't use anything really. I just use shampoo, conditioner, and then I use that Olaplex, can't remember what it is, no, not all that place, that K K19, tiny bit just to rub it in my ends. And that's it really, I use hairspray. So yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm very curious to try this. Right, I better go and get changed now. <laughs> all dressed up, nowhere to go. Because I need to carry on with my cleaning, preparing uh, the spare bedroom for, for my brother, because my brother is coming tomorrow. So, yes, I'm busy, busy. So I'm going to put all this stuff away that I've just filmed with and do some tidying up. I've just turned off my lights because the sun has come out. It's been raining for weeks now. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, let me tell you about my ring. So this ring, Paul bought it for me. I really, really loved it and that's supposed to be for um, like Valentine's Day or whatever. It's not really, we don't really celebrate that stuff. But um, I saw this ring <clears throat> and I really loved it. So this is from the company called MAM, M-A-M. And you might uh, remember I have another pearl ring that is like a circle with a pearl in it. That's from that company as well. And this is the wedding collection. They did bracelets to go with it. They even had beautiful tiara. I was so tempted to buy it. <laughs> um, and you could buy this on its own. Uh, then they did like little rings. They they are very quirky company. Um, they very much into unusual designs. So you could buy this on its own or, right, put the lights back on. Or you could get a set of three so and they are one size because you see they are adjustable all of them so I have this one as well and I've got another one that is a bit bigger like this and the idea is they go next to each other so this one should really go on this finger and the other one went on this finger so it looked even bigger or you can wear them separately So I loved it so much because it's so unusual. This is not real gold, obviously. It's gold plated, I think, of Vermeil. Um, but yeah, it was so unusual. I love it, such a statement piece. So I will leave you the link to that. And I've ordered it, I think it was 20th of January. And I only just got it a week ago. So, but that, that's not normal. It's when I've ordered it, it was pre-order. Sorry that I'm going also pale, but can't do anything about it. So I knew I wasn't going to get it 
quickly because it was on pre-order and they had such high demand. In the end, like end of February, I was like, where is my ring? I was just about to ask them to, to refund me the money. But they said, we are really sorry. We had very high demand for, for this. So it will be there with you. And so I waited like two and a bit months, but it was worth it. I love it. Right, I'm going. Are you already in the mud? Lovely. Look at your feet now. Louis. Bad boy. Don't go in there now. Here's my brother. <laughs> We're going for a walk because it's a beautiful day. I don't know if you can hear me because of the traffic. But we thought we'd get out for a walk. Paul couldn't come with us because it's the middle of the day, so Paul is working. Um, so we thought we'd take Louis, dirty Louis, for a walk with us. It's been raining for two weeks, I think, and today is a lovely sunny day, So, but it's still a bit cold. So yes, we've been sitting, walking and putting well to right, haven't we? Yeah, eating, <laughs> eating a lot. Oh yes, and eating a lot. <laughs> Good morning my lovelies. I've just had a shower and washed my hair. So I'm doing that. My brother is still here. He's going home tonight. He's going to leave later because on the way here he said the traffic was the worst he's ever seen. So he hopes that maybe in the evening it won't be as bad. We've had a lovely time. We went to a restaurant, we went shopping, we went for a really lovely look, 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 walk with Louis and we went to the pub. So yeah, we've had a lovely time. You know, what it's like talking to the early hours, drinking wine. Yeah, it was very nice. So. I'm just going to put my hair up and I have to go and make him breakfast. I've been suffering so much with um, this bloating. Honestly, I, I was in agony, so I, I became really constipated and I started taking the Dulcolax, one of those natural, you know, things. And I took it for three days, three times a day, and nothing happened. I honestly thought I was going to... I felt like someone was blowing me up from within. Uh, and my brother said to me, um, because he's, he was going to cook me Bigos. Bigos is a... I think it actually comes from Germany originally, the, the dish. I'm not sure, but we eat a lot of it in Poland. It's made out of sauerkraut. You make like a stock and then you put some beef, some pork in it, some sausages, and you cook that sauerkraut for hours and hours for two days for it to go completely soft and everything to mash together. So he cooked me that, but he said to me, and obviously I knew that, but I never thought of it. He said, eat twice a day, a little bowl of just sauerkraut straight from the jar, because sauerkraut, you know, it's, it's, um, it's fermented stuff, and that is full of prebiotic. So I did that one day, and I went to the toilet the next day. Um, I, but I still didn't feel good, so I've been eating it for like a couple of days and I am feeling a bit better, but I don't know. I just don't know what is wrong with me. I'm just not feeling good with it all. It's so annoying. I hate feeling unwell. I hate going to doctors, you know, so, but I'm going, I'm going to the hospital in a couple of days. So once we've ruled out the ovarian cancer and all that, then I will 
take care of this maybe it is IBS I don't know I've watched I've watched some uh, professors from different universities giving talks on IBS on different types of IBS and it looks like that's what I could be having but unfortunately there is no really 100% diagnosis there is no um, they don't know why you get it, what causes it, and it's quite difficult to treat. So, I don't know. I just know that there are people that suffer with it non-stop all their lives. So, we will see. Anyway, I better go, finish my hair, and go and make it. Good morning, my lovelies. Gym day. I'm just going to the gym. It's a beautiful sunny day. I think the spring is finally here still very cold well it's nine degrees so uh, my brother is gone back to normal sorry I, I wasn't really vlogging much um, this week this past week because he was here for four days so you know I wasn't really picking up the camera and vlogging much and also I haven't had time to do more of my fragrance videos you know trying fragrances because i still have some um discovery sets and it's just that i haven't had time and i haven't been feeling good but today today is the first day in about three weeks that i woke up not bloated and feel much better so the advice from my brother to eat that sauerkraut was genius i think i'm going to have few forkfuls every day because even if you are not bloated this is very good for like i said for your prebiotics so yes i'm feeling so much better honestly the last time i went to the gym last week i wasn't feeling very good i even felt a bit sick and i said to my personal trainer you know can we not do anything that it really strains my stomach area because I'm not feeling too good and I actually left the session like 15 minutes earlier because I wasn't feeling that good so today it's great oh when I get back home I must remember so early on in this video I was telling you about the elf lipsticks I will show you the lipsticks when I get back home after the gym and swatch them for you because like I said out of this whole thing lipsticks were really nice so and I show you the two colors that I've got right as promised show you the lipsticks they're actually very nice they are magnetic so this is what is this one loud af very rude this is really really lovely sort of raspberry color like i said it's a bit similar to charlotte tilbury's velvet underground but velvet underground is more fuchsia whereas this one is a bit more raspberry really nice and this one can't see it i think it's called dirty talk i will put it in the description box it's more of a nude it's really nice it's like your lips but better and they are sort of i don't know if they comfort mats or satins um but really really nice You see, it's just like your lips are better, but if you did it with a bit darker uh, lip liner, yeah, they are not very shiny, but very creamy and comfortable. So these are the two lipsticks that I liked from that whole Elf stuff. Right, my lovelies, I think I will <laughs> finish this vlog here. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.